Thanks, Chad. Hi, everybody. I'm Stephen Human. Happy Halloween. And I want you to picture 500 million years ago behind me. This was the coast of the Pacific Ocean. Now, you've heard tales of dragons and sea monsters and creatures that devoured ships, but of course, it's all fantasy. Well, we're going to talk about one man today who thinks he may have cracked that myth. I'd like you to meet Mike Hallett of Kaysville, Utah. Now, he doesn't necessarily fit the scientist's image upon first glance. The same can be said for his discoveries. They look like rocks, but under close examination, some strange things come to light. They may be just rocks, or they may be giant Caesarian dragons. What we found is a completely new era of prehistoric marine biology, advanced prehistoric marine biology. And working in excavation up here, digging basements, buying landscape rocks, I was able to notice that there was a particular pattern to the stones and that the individual stones were arranged in the exact configurations of large-scale, highly evolved prehistoric marine reptiles. The whole Caesarea discovery revolves around what's known as the Zoria repeat. And that is all the teeth and all the spikes and all the replacement teeth have the exact same structural characteristics. And when we evaluate them, we're looking for 117 exacting characteristics. So we have a biological repeat there in biological structures. Well, you know, it may just look like a rock, but this could actually be the skull of a Hallettstonian Caesarea sea dragon. Now, if you look at this picture right here, this is the excavation of a Tyrannosaurus rex skull, and you'll notice that it was encased in rock at one time and they had to drill it away. So when you think about this, the fact that a dragon could have died right here in Utah isn't quite so far-fetched. We've concluded that the examples are, became extinct 540 million years ago. And at 540 million years, you just can't really expect a heartbeat and a pulse. At that length of time, they're deep in the reduction cycle. Now they're just in a process of reclamation where they're being returned back into the earth, into dirt and stones. The dirt above Ogden, Utah, is where Mike found this Caesarian graveyard. As you can tell by the size of these potential fossils, there was nothing small about these sea carnivores. The biggest land dinosaurs came in at 130 feet. And we're saying from our studies of the surface examples here at the Hallettstonian Heights graveyards that our small examples come in at 130 and range upward to 300 feet. Okay, so if this were a uh, Hallettstonian Caesarea, this is the skull, and you can imagine if it wanted to take a bite out of me. It would not have any problems whatsoever. Of course, a potential find like this is going to have skeptics. The image of a dragon or other giant monster has been relegated to folklore and foolishness for centuries, making the average person give little thought to the potential reality. Scientists aren't any easier. Giant sea creatures that predate dinosaurs by a few hundred million years will make many academics dismiss any claim as preposterous. We've uncovered something that is beyond where science is right now. Now, right now, the science of paleontology on large-scale creatures is based on the vertebrae land dinosaurs, but they date back all the way to about 220 million years. And as what we found is something that became extinct at 540 million years. And that's how the fossil record reads, and that's how everybody's educated. And we found something from an entirely different era, but this watermark dates back to when this area was the western edge of the Pacific Ocean. We look for these particular Zoria repeats. And it'd be cool if the At Your Leisure viewers were able to identify some of these particular Caesarea remains. And maybe we can uncover an additional graveyard. And as all they have to do is look for this particular shape. And it's this shape that repeats itself over and over. Now, if it was geology, it might have broken off the mountain and should look like a broken, fractured rock. But we're looking for this particular external structure and the internal substructure. Everything fits. We're on the ancient seashore. We have ancient sea creatures sitting here. Well, I'll allow you to draw your own conclusions as to whether these are, in fact, Houtstonian prehistoric dinosaurs from 500 million years ago or just a bunch of rocks. But either way, the evidence is pretty intriguing. If you want to find out more about the Hallettstonian Caesarea, go to www.caesarea.com. You can find out about Mike's hunts. And as he said, if you want to go out on your own and discover some of these things, you are welcome to, and you can share it with the rest of the viewers. Once again, I'm Stephen Human. Now let's get back to Chad and Corby.